Eid Mubarak to everybody. I received one special request from a friend and it's all about the indoor parking lighting design with ramp on it. So I've created one CAD file here. This is a huge car parking but we will only use a small, uh, a small area for this just for this um, tutorial. Okay. So I will uh, open the Dalax Evo now and we will run a lighting design calculation for this indoor car parking with ramp. So um, in uh, indoor car parking, the usual lux level requirement is 75 on the parking slot and uh, 100 on the driveway. So we need to achieve 75 and 100 and what we're going to do is we will create a separate lighting calculation surfaces for, for those areas. Okay, so let's go now and import the CAD file that I saved in my desktop. Okay, so first create the floor element and then create the new building. So this is a huge parking and if you want to create um, the whole uh, calculation for the whole par parking, you can do so, but if you want to just create for the small area, it's also fine. So let's go now and create the indoor, indoor wall. And now you will have our first parking level. And because it has a ramp, it means it's uh, this ramp area is open to the other side. So let's go and uh, to make our building much looking very nice, let's go and put some columns in it and maybe edit some part of the walls. Have some subspace there and can we add columns go to your uh, room elements and create a room square one and uh, imagine there are columns here which i'm sure there are columns here because these are the separators columns small placing and there you go and now our columns are established so let's create those padlocks. These are the padlocks. So let's create those padlocks. So you will either use a platform like this one, or you can uh, do it in object. So I think I will use a platform and draw the elements and press it like this. Okay, so this will be the and the height of the padlock is uh, 0.1 so let's go and double check and let's put a texture in it so we can recognize it properly so go to the catalogs materials and outdoor and say floor and then paving and I will select this one say apply let's close this one and let's make it yes okay now we have padlock and now let's continue the other padlock all right, it looks good. Uh, we can add here if you like to add more, uh, but for now, I think this is fine. So, um, hey, I forgot. I want to put another thing just to see the proportion of this car parking. Let's put one car here. So, it, yeah, vehicles. Okay, I want this Jeep and then apply. So there you go, this is now my parking and we are ready now to create the ramp. Okay, to insert the ramp, go to your um, room elements again and press the ramp tab. And then we will create now our ramp. So go to the plan view and let's create our ramp here. So it's a double ramp. So we need to orient our ramp properly. So it's a wrong direction. So let's, oops, let's go and rotate it yeah okay and then move and go yes okay it looks good so the height of the ramp or the slope of the ramp depends on the requirements but usually it's um, either 1 is to 12 or 1 is to 10 ratio so let's go and um, select the ramp and let's make the height see this is 2.5 slope let's make a slope of the height is 2 meters and the slope now is 4.9 okay for seven and then after that we will uh, uh, put a hole in this second floor so the next ramp from the top will be open so let's go now and select the uh, cut out tool and then let's cut it and 
then let's cut it there and there you go now it's cut so our next the next thing we need to do is to double this uh, to copy this height and create now our wrap so the ceiling height of this wrap is 3.5 but the mounting position of the luminary should be on 2.6 meters only because of some other utilities inside this car parking so let's go now and double this uh, floor okay so my video is gone because it takes so long and it has not been recorded so okay so i just copied this uh, floor and then what i did is i cut it yeah using the cut element also the second floor because maybe there will be a roof deck parking uh, areas also and then i create one object here and put it up if you can go and see in the elevation view it's just one object again with 0.2 thickness same with the floor so that's how i did it this is what this is going to be the ceiling for this car parking and if you can see here now that this is open if you want to make this one close we can either create as a column or we can create a wall so if you want to do that go to the plan view and um, create a wall if you want to make it close so go and select the same column and then rectangular element and then create very nice column up to here and you can see now that this is close okay and if you want to extend it more up to the top then you can do it uh, can we do it in the elevation and the building and scale yes we can do it and now it's close from here to there we will just imagine that this one is open because it's a car parking yeah, and then you can just copy this uh, column or wall to the other side. So go to the uh, story one, control C and control V. And then just move it and copy it there. There you go. Okay, so now it's ready for uh, lighting. So let's go now and select the right fitting for a car parking. www.thornlighting.com And then go to the products and go to the international portfolio go to the indoor and select the industrial lighting and let's select the aqua force led this is good for car parking and then let's select the higher wattage or this one if 4300 is not enough then we will proceed with the 6400 lumen output so let's go now and select the dialux and then say save downloading and then say use just click this one and it will now goes to our dialogs and then we will lay out this uh, luminaire at least by uh, for every three parkings let's go and put it in the middle so let's go and select the luminaire arrangement and say up to here and then say we will put one two three four four pieces see four and then rotate the rotation and select the uh, center to center and move it up to here and here okay let's go and double check let's open the photometric value and say that the mounting height should be in 2.6 because there are some other utilities under this slab so it will be look like this and then let's go and another lighting layout for the driveway say okay we will have maybe six pieces of this one and the spacing is let's say six meters okay so we can just copy this one control c and control v to the other side of the driveway this one also control C and control V okay let's check it inside how it looks there you go there you go looking good and for the ramp let's go and put a ramp luminaire so you can just cap this one control C and control V on both sides 
and then let's go and select it in the or uh, in the elevation view so let's go and rotate it let's, oops this is too much so what is this we can go and say this is 4.5 degrees okay let's make it 3 degrees yeah okay and then let's move it up 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 to here let's double check yes it's perfect and go and let's copy it to the other side so control c and control v and then there you go and let's see so now we have our luminaires properly laid <laughs> okay but it's not yet done because we need to create a calculation surfaces for the parking slot for the uh, ramp and for the driveway so let's save for now okay we will create now our calculation surfaces for for achieving the lux value so go to the plan view now and go to the calculation objects and say rectangular because it's typical to the other side we will create a calculation surface here so go and select the draw rectangular calculation and draw it like this and say the size is let's go and add the false color and property let's say this is parking slot and then positioning is in zero size let's make the size is five meters by okay there you go so it's in zero very good and then let's just copy this one control c control v and run a calculation on let's say here as a driver so let's go and scale it up to here and say this is 5 by 34.5 say ok and the label is say driveway and enter and then for the ramp this is, is going to be typical to the other driver and for the parking light ok if you want to add more here you can also add here control c control v but I'm sure it's only typical or let's yeah and then for the, the for the driveway we can only select this one say press the result on surface and then click this ramp and they then open the value chart and the false color all right say so this one label this one as a ramp okay but because there is one object in in uh, in the middle we may need to move this ramp um, to the other side so it will be a separate ramp calculation so go to the construction again and then go to the room elements and then select the ramp go to the plan view and then scale it like this and then just copy this one to the other side control c and control v yes so it will not affect the calculation result so go to the uh, calculation object again and result on surface say yes value chart false color and say this is also a ramp number two well this one result on surface say value chart false color and then properties say this is ramp number one then enter all right so now we have one two three four five calculation surfaces available in our room so let's go now and run the calculation and see if we achieve the required lux level so we get all the results now and it shows here that parking slot 78 78 because we only need 75 uniformity also good 0.45 and parking slot 2 perfect and what is this driveway driveway it says 81 driveway it's not enough so we need to add more and for the ramp it's 83 we need to add more and another ramp is 83 we need to add more so it means for a uh, party slot, we achieve our last level requirements, which is 75, and we get 78. And um, for the parking, uh, for the driveway, we only get 81, but we need one, at least 100. So we need to add, uh, I think, one more fitting to achieve this uh, last level requirement. So let's go now and add it. 
Let's go to the plan view and discard the result. And add one more fittings here. So let's go and make it eight. So the spacing will be maybe five meters or 5.2. Okay, same with the parking. Let's make it eight. And spacing is 5.2. Okay, so let's run it again and see how it looks. Okay, so now we achieved one, sorry, it's 93 and 95. And this one is only 94 and 63. Um, okay, so I think it's still not enough. We need to add more fittings. Or maybe we can change our luminaire into higher lumen output, which is the... 6400 and let's see if we can reduce the quantity because it's much better if the, the, the luminary quantity is much lesser and it's more efficient because um, yeah light fitting is very expensive so let's go now and click this one this 6400 lumen output and say yes and then let's apply and let's go to our, our dialogs now yes this is 1400 so go and select one fitting and say replace all luminaires of this type and select this uh, 6400 lumen and then say yes it will be discarded and say no recalculation no and i'm also planning to remove this ramp here this um uh, object wrapped here and put it to the second floor so let's delete this one okay there you go so let's go to the first floor now it's gone <laughs> so that's just this is uh, okay now and then let's remove some uh, fittings because now we have a high lumen output so let's make it six for a while so the spacing is seven but this one um we can because for the maintenance maintenance purposes we can either retain this one or not as the uh, 2400 lumen output since um, we want to make all the fittings uh, similar to each other so let's just uh, change this one also with a uh, 6400 and if it's overlaid then either the client will change it with the lower lumen output maybe because if it's if it because if it's cheaper then um, they can proceed on that but if the price value is almost the same then it's, it's fine to use this 6400 lumen output luminaire for the parking slot okay so let's go now and run it okay so i'm seeing a good result now and so okay the result is now here so 113 109 106 and for the ramp 107 and 109 so if you go here in your 3d you can now uh, create your screenshots with a perfect value on this one and you can show it to your client like this one maybe you want to save this screenshot make sure you open the results overview because if you close it you cannot see it uh, maybe you want to save this image so let's go and go to the export tab and save new view and if you go to the inside you can also select some views so it will be more pleasing to your client so let's say this one save new view all right so that's it and i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial if you want to review go to the some images of on the google and see how the luminaires for the car, car parking has been laid or being designed so that's for example this one for example this one also so uh, get some inf inspirations from google so your lighting design will have an, an option to see if your design is correct or not okay so there are different ways and different luminaires to be used in car parking so just play on that and as long as you achieve the 75 lux or 100 lux you're uh, good to go okay this is another option on the wall for the ramp so what we did is on the ceiling but this was another option it's on the wall but make sure you achieve the lux level which is the 100 lux all right so thank you very much and see you again on the next tutorial